LA-born art student and Anglophile indie freak Laura Elise Salinger got talking to Marquis Smith one night after a gig. Within six months, she was living in Prestwich and a member of the Fall. Hello, Brick Smith. I'm Kate. Oh, look at these Gladys guys. And Pixie. Pixie and Gladys. Yeah. So tell me how you found out about The Fall and how you became a member. We saw in the Chicago Reader that The Fall were coming to play. I was waiting in line to get beer, and as I got my beer and I turned around, bam, smacked into the singer, who had a bottle of beer in each hand and a line of white powder coming down his nose, which should have been a red flag, but hey, rock and roll. He said, you know, we're, we were invited to a party afterwards. Do you want to come? And I said, sure. And um, we got in the car, and he said to me, what do you do? And I said, oh, I'm in a band. And he said, oh, do, do you have any tapes of your music? And I put the tape in, and he said, who, who wrote these songs? And I said, I did. And he said, you're a fucking genius. And basically, it was sort of decided over the next couple of days that he would bring me over to England um, and to help me get a solo record deal and sort of mastermind it and be my Svengali. Marquis Smith had other ideas and thought his newfound genius would make a good addition to the fall. So he wooed Bricks to the delights of Manchester. When I landed, I was shocked. Driving from the train station, I, I was just so heinous. And uh, Mark was so excited, like he is so, he is like, loves Manchester. He showed me the must-see sites. So he was like, look, Brixie, over there's Boddington's Brewery. And I'm like, oh, yeah, great. He goes, that's Strange Ways Prison. And I'm like, God. But just a pair of flabby wings. I tend to do it some hovering. But saying that, I was where I wanted to be. I was doing what I wanted to do. And I was with a man that I loved. Pick the fleas, mister! Eat yourself, mister! Eat Three yourself. months later, they were Mr and Mrs Smith, and Bricks was now writing songs and a fully-fledged member of the fall. Can you explain what you brought to the fall? What I did was I just wove a bit of light into their dark, which sonically people could hear, like orally, and it would stay in their head. Did the sort of TV appearances sort of escalate once you joined the group? Yeah. When we got on TV, when we did uh, videos, when we, I was on the cover of magazines, he was on the, we were all on the cover. Um, I felt great about this. I think Mark was also extremely happy about it. Between 1983 and 1996, Bricks wrote songs and featured on over seven albums for The Fall. What would you say the most difficult thing on a day-to-day -day level about being in a band with your other half is? I don't know. I mean, he, you know, he's not the easiest guy, personally. But it was great to be kind of a double act, in a way, because we had each other to bounce off. And because we're so polar opposite, it was fascinating to everybody how we could be a couple. Hey. Hey. 